Hey, it's Larry Lercy. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to take a look at one of the underutilized tools that they have in Photoshop now, and that's the Discover panel. Now, I wasn't really even sure what Discover did when it first came out and hadn't really played around with it until recently. And it really is a super powerful thing that they have for you, especially if you're pretty new in your Photoshop journey and trying to learn how everything works. It is super helpful. Whether you're just trying to find a very specific tool that you just can't remember where it is or you want a whole tutorial on how to use it, this Discover panel really will be something that you'll find helpful. Now you will need to be logged into your Adobe account for this to work. If you've got an older version of Photoshop and you're not on the cloud, um, you may not be able to get all the benefits of this. If you are still on an older version of Photoshop, you might find that this is one of the benefits that pushes you over the edge into getting the newer version because it really is powerful. By the way, before we jump in, I'm still about a billion short of my goal of trying to reach one billion subscribers. So if you haven't done so, please take a second to click the subscribe button and help me inch toward that insurmountable goal. But without any further ado, let's roll the intro. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop. First thing we need to do is open the Discover panel and you're gonna find it over here. It's this little uh, magnifying glass. The shortcut is Command F or Control F if you like to do it that way, but we will just click on that and bring up this panel. And first thing it's going to do is give you some suggestions. You know, it's going to look at the image we have here and say some different things you can do. For example, uh, just enhance the image if you want to do that. Go ahead and hit this. It's going to look at it. It's basically going to hit it with auto adjustments. If you want to do that, you hit apply and it will do it for you and off you go. Now, we don't necessarily want to do that, but uh, we'll just leave it there for now. But we're going to look at some of the other things that are available in this Discover as well. So you've got hands-on tutorials, actions, um, user guide, all kinds of things. Let's start up here with the tutorials because I think this is one of the coolest things that there is. Um, you go ahead and click on that, and it's going to give you all these different tutorials that you can do. So, you know, getting to know selections, dodge and burn. So let's say we wanted to learn about dodging and burning a photo. It says it's an intermediate skill, it takes about four minutes. So you would go ahead and, and again, these are not necessarily relating to the images here. These are just um, ones that are available. And there's more than just these. You can view all, if you want to look at all the photo editing ones, you can hit that and it'll show you... Um, all these different things that you can learn. So let's say you want to learn how to lighten and darken parts of an image. Click on that. It's going to tell you what the tutorial is about, how long it should take. You hit start and it brings the image in and you're pretty much ready to go here. You got the image pulled up and it's telling you um, that uh, basically you want to do it on a on a duplicate layer. So it's you come up here and you got this little blue thing bopping up and down. It says click layer, new, and then you just pretty much follow those directions. New, layer, layer via copy. It can tell that we've done that. You can see over here it did make a new layer. Click next. And it's literally going to walk you through this tutorial. It's like watching a really cool YouTube tutorial, except the instructor is waiting on you to do every step, and they give you the image to work with. They even show you where it is. If you're like, you know, where's the such and such tool? It takes you right to it. You know, it says blend, change the... Uh, blending mode to luminosity and you're like okay where's blending mode it's right over here it's a little arrow takes you right to stuff it's very crazy that it does this and what's funny is you can even pick the wrong one like I can do hue and it still knows that we haven't done it until we get it right and switch it to luminosity then uh, it lets you go on to the next step so it's pretty cool so it's about as interactive a tutorial as you can have short of having somebody sitting next to you uh, walking you through it. So it's amazing uh, all these two tours. I'm going to exit out of here. Uh, let's just close that up. Don't save. Got too much going on. Let's jump back in here. And uh, so you've got all these different tutorials uh, through here, which is just amazing. And they're constantly adding to these. So even if you work through all these, I'm guessing more will appear at some point and you'll keep learning. Uh, you've got quick actions here, which are uh, little things that you want to do, like remove the background. Say you want to remove the background on this image. 
you just hit that it's going to tell you what it's going to do you hit apply it goes to work now it didn't do the best job down here for some reason it selected some of the foreground some of the window but you get the idea it pretty much knocked out most of the background up here a lot of these things will be um, kind of ready-made for you some of the things that you might need right off the bat with these quick actions so that's another interesting thing if you're an advanced Photoshop user it might not be as useful for you because you're probably gonna know how to do things like blur the background and things like that but if you're still kind of finding your way around Photoshop I think this is just immensely powerful you've got the what's new which is pretty self-explanatory it's gonna just tell you what some of the new features are um, user guide things like that I think some of these other resource links are interesting you can go in under plugins and if you're a plugin junkie you will see you've got all these uh, here that are things that you can install into Photoshop and uh, m most of these are free I'm guessing there's probably some paid ones somewhere down here as well but uh, all kinds of little things that you can um, plug in to do extra things in Photoshop so I think that's pretty interesting it's going to of course log you into your Adobe account to uh, to access all this so this is a lot of this is assuming you're using um, the uh, Creative Cloud the subscription version where uh, you're logging into Photoshop anyways so um, lots of great stuff in there let's close that up jump back in uh, same with stock you have got your stock photos in here where you access as Adobe stock where you can go get uh, you know music video footage you name it lots of great stuff there as well fonts if you're like me and you're a fonts junkie and you've got 10,000 fonts on your computer and you have way too many and you still want more uh, there's all kinds of font packs in here that you can get as well it even tells you how to uh, install them so it really is a ton of cool assets that they've got kind of hidden away in this discover panel and honestly I had never really messed with it at all and didn't realize there were so many things here I'll show you one last thing okay so let's say that I want to sharpen this image and I can't remember how to sharpen an image um, all you have to do come up here type in sharpen and it will give you all these different options uh, how to do regular sharpen where's the sharpen tool see it just lit up over there um, smart sharpen let's say I want to do a smart sharpen for example um, by the way you'll da have down here have your help and your hands-on tutorials if you want to deep dive into it but if you just want to do just a smart sharpen for now uh, you can come right up there you can even click that and it'll do it for you but if you want to do it yourself you just go up there to filter sharpen smart sharpen pull it up you adjust it to whatever it is you want to do hit OK and it'll go to work so if there's a tool that you don't use very often you've got the ability to come in here you know I know there'll be times where I can't remember exactly how to do something and I'll have to just you know Google it or look for a YouTube video on how to do something and uh, something that you don't do very often and it's nice just having it right here where you can just go in and and ask for things like uh, you know I don't know um, selections and uh, elliptical selection quick selection rectangular uh, or just doing more tutorials so if there's a thing that you want to learn more about you want to learn more about using layers um, you can come right down through here and any of this stuff get to know layers add an image resize a layer it's all right here so it, it's tons of information within the app and like I said the best part is it gives you the image and basically holds your hand and forces you to work through the whole image and and do it all correctly so it really is a very valuable learning tool and I think a lot of people aren't really taking advantage of it so I think it's something cool to explore so as you can see it really is super powerful and I think if you'll take the time to dig around in that discover panel uh, I think even the most seasoned Photoshop person will stumble across something that they didn't know because it's such a vast program and none of us are using all of the parts that it has and so I think the more you can branch out and learn little things the better off you are so whether you're doing a full tutorial or just looking for a specific tool I think you'll find it really helpful but let me know what you think did you use the discover panel before did you realize that it was even there would love to hear your thoughts on the type of things that you've been using it to find out about the 
software. But that's about it for this week. I hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.